Hey everybody, Spencer here with auction preview number one. Probably gonna spread this out over four. It's a little bit of a mess, so I'm not having a live preview all hung. It's just sort of like the old style that uh, I have everything in rack, so I'm gonna be holding it up for you. Just remember though, if you do wanna see a preview of this, a perfect private preview, contact me. I'm available, I'm here. Um, but we just need to schedule an appointment and ideally you would be bringing in sort of a list because again, everything is in the stack, so you're not gonna be pulling that stuff out, but I will pull it out for you. All right, so let's get going. This is a great large piece. Um, we believe it's likely Charles Hines, not sure. It's actually unsigned, but it's beautiful, beautiful, early, early Provincetown piece, so that's great. This has been here in the gallery. It's an Alvin Ross, nice Conte crayon. I know you'll like that. I love this unusual early Hilda Neely snow scene one of Ray Nolan's bigger Dune pieces. We've got two John Ebersberger, Ebersberger, sorry if I say that wrong, um, pieces, that one, and this one over here. And again, this is sort of her size context. Carol Westcott Wharf, Nancy's sister. Um, Agnes Weinrich, it is unsigned, certificate of authenticity, but it is labeled Dunes on the back. This is a great Jackson Lambert, uh, one of two pieces. This is a paint, it's called Pink Can, and this is actually all raised up, so I love that one. Uh, we have one, uh, two of um, William Maynard's, I love this one, Dog, uh, yeah, Captain Jack's. <laughs> this is sort of a, my favorite piece. It is an unsigned early, early Provincetown uh, school, um, yeah, I just think it's beautiful. There's this interesting line that's going across there, but it's not like it's distracting. So that's all that. So let's go to the other stuff down here. All uh, right, we've got several Dorothy Lake Gregory's. That is small etching. Uh, last of our fan series by Olga Sears. Out of the way. Bertha Reed, Bertha Taft Reed. Wood lilies. This piece that was at Seashore Point, I think. All right, one of the John Hares. And this is an early piece. I think it's Burnett. M. M. Barnett is actually a female. I didn't know. It's from 1884. American whaling ship. I love this one. William Littlefield, uh, an Etruscan Matisse. It is from a poster announcing the exhibition um, in the East Hampton Gallery, 1964. It is a collage. All right, here, Hondius. This has a piece on it, or a bit on it already. Portuguese woman. Doot, doot, doot. Another one here, this will be a bigger one. And Donald Litherstein, nice woodblock print. This has bloom. Now bloom is when it sort of looks like a powder milky surface that's on the back of the glass. It's not on the print, okay? So you wanna reframe that. John Gregory, nice lithograph. And, shit, I didn't even think that maybe, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> that there's a glare on all these because of the light. Uh, Caleb Arnold Slade, um, it's got a little, uh, discoloration up there. All right, one of two Nancy Ellen Craig's. This is the Sheep Market. She, uh, um, did a whole series of Sheep Market. This was actually in Pam in the retrospective of Nancy's work. All right, these are two pieces that were of the Coots Gallery, I forget, 481 maybe, Commercial Street. And apparently, I mean, this was a big, big New York gallery that was here. Apparently these are actually sort of Motherwell paintings because he was represented there, all the big, big names. So that's interior, exterior, they're unsigned pieces. This is uh, one of three Evelyn Bodrish borns. It is a uh, state stamp, giant clam. All right, this is one of my favorites because, all right, so this is from the White Horse Inn. As you know, White Horse Inn has been sold, and uh, so we're selling some stuff, and this stuff is from there. So this is actually the interior of the White Horse Inn, okay? Jackson Lambert actually designed this whole wall. It's so interesting, and that painting is this painting. 
system. It looks a little different, but it's pretty cool, right? Okay, this is Sheila Miles, and William Frank is the name of the abstract. This is a fantastic Jackson Lambert, but Jackson apparently, from the White Horse Inn as well, Jackson was very good friends with uh, Frank Schaefer and uh, Mary Martin, and um, so there's lots of pieces from there, but he apparently signed all sorts of different names on his paintings. This one is actually J.J. Snow, but a gorgeous piece. I think that will do well, very unusual. And then this is the other Sheila Miles. That is also from the White Horse Inn, of course, Sheila Miles, uh, director. Provincetown Art Association and Museum. So, that's Auction Preview 1. And I'll bring in 2 soon.